If you long for the days of cheaper GPUs and more competition, you're going to find this very interesting. A Chinese GPU vendor, More Threads, has revealed a new architecture, and its performance claims put its new flagship to the highest performance tiers of Nvidia and AMD's current lineup, perhaps even up to a 5080. Now, as you can see on screen, the Lucian Gaming GPU is expected to fully support DirectX 12 Ultimate, so the latest PC games will run, and the company are currently focusing to improve its drivers, which have been a big weakness point of its previous graphics cards. Now, on the subject of its previous GPUs, the MTT S80 and S90 had pretty bad drivers at launch, but the S90, which is basically a refresh of the S80, could oftentimes match up with an RTX 4060. For example, in Steel Nomad, it was about 200 points faster than the 4060. Now, according to a report over at WCCF Tech, Flower Harbor, which is the new architecture's name for more threads, has increased compute density by 50%, higher clock frequencies, and more bandwidth. All of this, plus a lot of architectural changes, will lead to a 50x improvement in ray tracing performance, 15x gaming performance, and 16x faster geometry, and four times the amount of memory. Now, this is the unfortunate part. Right now, we don't have any in-game benchmarks. We only have essentially the word from this and some, you know, kind of fancy looking graphs. But if it is true, though, based on a lot of factors, for example, how good their drivers are, what they're comparing it against, whether it's the S80 or 90, I'm assuming it will be the S90, and also how different games perform, potentially we could see performance anything from an RTX 4070 Ti all the way up to maybe, and this is a lot of hopium, an RTX 5080. Now, given the fact that China is now starting to produce their own memory in larger volumes, and they're also starting to create their own fabs, perhaps this is going to be a good option for PC gamers going forward if AMD and NVIDIA doesn't start to improve performance and these shortages continue. With any luck, though, well, AMD and NVIDIA will continue to cater to gaming, and this whole AI rush will also start to die down. Let me know what you guys think.